this machine is going to sacrifice itself to the Great Void. When it runs out of blocks. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I'm actually a little bit nervous. Let's, let's see where it goes. Out of morbid curiosity. Uh, that's it. That's it. It reached the end. It reached the end. Didn't fall? Inconceivable. Hey everybody, welcome back to Minecraft with the Create Mod. I'm Joe Mama, your host. So, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and freaking do it. I've got my uh, collection of Ender Eyes that I've been grinding to get, and also notice we've got a nether portal right nearby. And so you can see that I've made a quicker a quicker method of getting here than just taking that tunnel. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna, the goal of this here is to build a digging machine that uh, instead of digging, it's actually going to bridge. So we're actually going to try to build a bridge to the other, uh, the other islands. But in order to do that, we have to see what we're up against. So let's go ahead, without further ado, let's go ahead and drop these pup puppies in here. Bing, 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 ding, ding. Boom. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at it. Oh, you don't su Oh man, I just had a thought. Could I sit here and do this? No, of course I can't. Oh, wouldn't that be sweet? Oh, that would be freaking sweet. Okay, let's take a look. Can we, what can we see? Look, we can see the nether and the end and the overworld all together. Oh man, this sucks though because we can't see where the platform is. And that's what we need to see. And um, we want to scope it out because we, we absolutely need to know which way to build the bridging machine. Before we can even build it, we have to know what direction it needs to face. So there was really only one way to do this. We're going to have to go in. I've slept. And I've got, let me see, can I grab one more stack of blocks? I've created myself this uh, shulker box full of goodies here. Um, stuff that I can come back and grab. I've got my bed there, so if I die, which of course I'm going to die, there's no way I'm gonna take on the dragon in this gear. Um, but uh, yeah, I've rebuilt the stairs too, if you can't tell. Yeah, so that's, so that's, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. And I might take some pot shots at the dragon, but uh, I, oh, by the way, let's don our very important uh, jack-o'-lantern head here. Uh, I guess we just do it, I guess. Um, I, oh, I've also got an ender chest here. So hopefully we can find a spot to set that down very quickly. I've also brought this pick with me, and if I realize that I'm not gonna need it, it's going to go straight into the ender chest because I wanna hang on to it. All right, here goes nothing. <sighs> what? Oh, that's odd. Is this a thing? Where, is this what? Where's the damn... Okay, okay. Let's put this puppy down. Right there. Okay, it's... I'm facing west, so it's on the east side. And let's put the, let's put the uh, thing there. Okay, well, we're in it now. Where's, where's the damn, what you call it? Where's the platform? Okay, that takes care of that one. This is weird. I wonder if the immersive portals has some weird effect because we're not getting the, what you call it, we're not getting the, um, we're not getting the darkening effect that the dragon, that being in the world of the dragon has. When the dragon's alive, It's almost like he doesn't even know we're here. Is it me or is that? Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here, buddy. Nope, he knows we're here.
Okay, he knows we're here. Oh, son of a bitch. We're gonna die. We're totally gonna die. Okay, let's eat. We're gonna die. We're not gonna blow that sucker up. I did not expect this at all. This is weird. I've never had an end fight like this. Come on. I can't tell if I'm overshooting or undershooting. Okay, oh, there we go. Definitely undershooting. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't have the bucket of water with me. Drat. Crap on a crutch. All right, we have got to destroy these things. Oh, that one's dead. Oh, they're dead. Okay, so the only one's left. Gonna die anyway, so I mean, might as well die for, you know. Okay, there's how many more of these left? There's just the three. Two, two, right? I think it's just the two. I do not have feather falling boots on. I have nothing that's gonna save me. I'm basically dead up here. Why am I shooting at this thing? Why am I prolonging this? Really? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm basically dead at this point. I don't know that I have any course of action at this point other than straight up death. Bye. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I guess the only way I am able to do this is to go through that dragon. And now I don't even have a bow. But you know what? This time, I'm gonna take everything with me, I think. So let's go ahead. Um, oh, I didn't bring my feather falling boots either. Well, son of a gun. Okay, anything else, anything? I'm not, I don't care about the dragon's breath or any of that jazz. Okay, they're dead. Okay, I can do this. Can you still shoot up under it like you used to be able to? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Don't don't get mad at me. I don't know who did that, but don't get mad at me. Okay, where are you at? Right there. Boom. Okay. Okay, so where I died, I think, is all the way over there. I think I died all the way over here. Am I right? Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. So now we gotta figure this dragon out. All the thingies are dead. All the thingies are dead. So he can't heal himself. I was really kind of hoping we could just dig, we could just build the uh, digging machine or the bridging machine um, on a platform somewhere. But what the heck? I, I don't even know that there is a platform. Well, this is weird. Not gonna lie. Okay. What? Well, whatever. 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 Okay.
Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, where you at? Where you at, buddy? Come on. Okay, right. I knew it, damn it. Knew it. Okay. Okay. So I knew it. As soon as I paused to put my, f to, to eat, that was gonna happen. All right, well, let's see if I can gather all my crap. It's right, it's right over there. No, where is it? Right over there. Okay. I knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it. Just freaking figured. All right. All right. Dang it! Am I just piss poor timing in my leaps? Okay, come on. One more hit. Oh, come on. One more hit. Okay, okay. Dragon's dead. Yay. Yay us. We'll take your head, we'll take your egg. Is it gonna give us the elytra? It'd be kinda cool if it gave us the elytra. But I don't think it did. Dragon drops elytra, that was one of the things I put on here, but I guess it's not gonna happen. Okay, so... <laughs> The dragon's dead. So be it. Well, that isn't exactly the way I wanted it to go. I'll take it. But the uh, but it, it it is a little weird. There's no platform to go from. I guess I, this is the way it's going to be from now on. Okay, and that's that would be how we would get to uh, to the other islands, but I really want us to build a bridging machine. That's what we're here for. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a bridging machine. Oh, it's kind of cool though. It's actually not over the, uh, it, it's not over the edge. So that's actually kind of a neat thing. Um, but let's see, that is to the, let's see, where's the fountain? Fountain is that way. So we are east of the fountain, okay. And there's our ender chest right there. We're gonna go ahead and recover that. Okay, well, let's see where this thing takes us now. Obviously, the immersive portals doesn't let us see into the fountain, but uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we're back at uh, we're back at our spawn. Awesome. So we've defeated the dragon. Uh, such an anticlimactic event in this particular playthrough. Sorry to say, but it's it's really killing the dragon is just a means to an end. Pardon the pun. But we're going to go ahead and start construction of our bridging machine. Now, there's going to be some major differences with this one compared to the machines we've made in the past. That is, we don't need to drill squat. We're not trying to drill. We just want to lay a bridge. We just want to get to the first big island, if at all possible. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to build a bridging machine. Now we could indeed build a, a uh, digging machine, a mining machine that will work for us, but uh, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Pardon the pun. <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let us change our point of view. And let's see, turn that off, put our cart there. And now we're going to do the usual thing. We are going to one, two, three, one, oh, no. 
and let's see now we need the wrench we don't need the bow so let's put this here and slap it with slime and don't need the pick but we're going to need the plow go ahead put the plow here and we're going to go ahead also and one two three now we're going to put our deployer right here as we did before two spaces in front of the cart all right that ought to set that up just fine but we still have to stick it to the machine and let's go ahead stick it and let's go ahead also and do I have any railroad tracks left I better and set the filter okay so now that we've got our ability for our <coughs> we've got the ability for our machine to run indefinitely minus the uh, the chest that it needs to hold the rails we need to build the rest of the machine and in this case I think what we're going to do we're just building a bunch of placers okay a bunch of deployers we're building a bank of deployers. We're gonna to sort of build it like we did before with a slight difference. Okay, let's uh, put that right there. And I don't know if this is gonna work, honestly, because I've never done this. Um, I have never done this without the drills. So this is just gonna be pure deployers. And one, two, three, four. That's going to be our tunnel. That gives us, uh, we're going to build it like this because we want it to be too high. Not T-O-O, -O, but T-W-O. We want it to be t too high so that Endermen don't spawn in it. And also, we um, we kind of like to build what I guess you could refer to as handrails so we don't fall off. I was just going to put one, but we'll go ahead and put two. Uh, placers, but we are going to uh, sticky uh, this, this. I'm going to do the front too and the back. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, apply some chests. One, two. Now each chest holds. I think it's 1,728 items in it. Okay. Now, each each single chest. Okay. If memory serves, usually the main island, or the central island, is like a thousand blocks in all directions from any of the, uh, any of the other end islands. That means that there has to be room for at least a thousand blocks for a single block bridge. But, of course, we're making four. So we need four times that. So this should more than allow us to do that. Now, the only thing is this thing is going to, um, when it hits something, it's going to stop. And when we follow this thing, we're going to be right behind the machine. So we have to have some blocks on us to facilitate getting around the machine when it finally does hit an island. Because it's just going to stop. It's not, oh, and... Um, it has to hold coal, rails, and of course the blocks. But once it hits something, it's going to stop. Uh, it's not going to drill. It's going to stop. That's the way it is designed. Question is, is that the way it's going to play out? Do I have cobblestone? I think cobblestone will be the block that we use. All right. Filter, 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 and filter. Okay, so it's going to build a cobblestone bridge. Now, again, if we had enough end stone, we could make this thing just make an end stone drilling machine, but it would still be limited by the amount of coal we put in it because there is, of course, no coal to collect. And there's nothing really valuable to collect. It's just end stone. So why make a drilling machine? Unless we want to make a machine that's going to go from island to island and just drill right through everything on the way. But even then... You'd have to have pretty good storage because at some point, you know, the islands are big, but sometimes the gaps they have to cross are way, way bigger. And therefore, you'd have to have a lot of blocks 
in reserve to cover those great distances. So, okay, so I think we're good to go. We've got a double chest full of cobblestone, which is around 3,500 blocks. We've got a single chest full of cobblestone, which is 1,700 blocks. And then we've got about a third of a row there of cobblestone, which tells me, the math tells me, it's gonna be well over 5,000 blocks. And if four placers are at work, then that gives us a range of about 1,250 blocks at least. So we should be good to go. Let me, uh, okay, have I got my goggles on? Yes, I do. I've got my carved pumpkin. Yes, I do. And a uh, wrench. There we go. Okay, yes, we're in cart movement mode. Got it. Okay, so I guess the thing to do is pick this bad boy up, wrench it up, and we've got it in our inventory, and we will take it to the end. Oh, it actually gives you feather falling as you fall out of the hole. All right, so it's facing east, so we're going to go to the east. Interestingly enough, that's where the uh, that's where that uh, portal there is. But let's go ahead and set this puppy up. Now that we don't need the goggles, let's go ahead and put our pumpkin on. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so now we can look Enderman in the eye if we want. All right, so facing east. Let's try this again. Go, go baby, go, go baby, go. Yeah, yeah baby, it's doing it. Why'd you do that? Ha <laughs> ha! It's going. It's going. Yeah, buddy. This will be interesting to see how long it takes before it hits something. It's crazy how fast it goes when it doesn't actually have to dig anything. So this is as fast as the blocks can place. Okay, we're about 500 blocks. It totally would have emptied one of the chests by now. Now again, we can't interact with the inventory of this thing until it's back to being a quote, stack of Minecraft blocks, meaning a, uh, a Minecraft build. Right now it is a single self-contained uh, unified contraption. Again, we can't interact with any of the blocks individually. We can only interact with it as a machine. So, there's no way to tell. But we can do our math, and like I said, 500 blocks times 4 is 2,000, and that's about the contents, a little more than the contents of one chest. I sure hope I'm right about this. Should be about 1,000 blocks. But I have been wrong before. I gave myself about 200 blocks worth of wiggle room. Okay, we're hitting about the 3,000 block mark. And we've got over 5,000 blocks in there, so there should be at least another 2,000 left. So, still, that's, uh, let's see, 2,000. That's 500 more blocks of travel, so let's see. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully my math is correct, and my guesstimation is correct. My guess is we should start seeing islands right around 900. You see the X coordinate there? We should be seeing blocks around 900. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, yep, I saw them. Yep, right there. Yep, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes, we're gonna make it. And if I plan this properly, we should make it 
we shouldn't hit the cliff wall. We should actually uh, approach right onto the uh, to the plane, to the flat area, to the plateau. We should actually make it onto the plateau. Here's hoping. And I think it'll keep going until the minecart hits something. I think the hitbox is such that how far it hangs down doesn't matter. Oh boy. Did I actually bring any blocks with me or am I going to be hosed? I might actually be a little bit hosed because if it actually misses the island, that could be a problem. That would royally suck, actually, <laughs> if it just... Oh, yeah, yep, see, you've reached the extent of as far as you're going to go. However, um, see, there's another big island over there. I can see it. Oh, that still means we have to bridge. Oh, I'm pissed now. Oh, no, we're, we're actually headed towards something. We may find that this machine is going to sacrifice itself to the Great Void. I have a feeling. And in that case, I'm kind of wishing I had brought more blocks with me. I see something. Let's, let's see where it goes. We, we, might, we might be surprised. Let's see where it goes out of morbid curiosity. Let's see. Well, that's probably our closest approach yet. Yeah, I have a feeling this machine is about to go into the void when it runs out of blocks. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm actually a little bit nervous. Could it actually make it to another island? <clears throat> is that in the cards at all? No. I don't think so. I think this thing is going for the long drop. I really thought I would hit one island, at least. But we must be getting close to the end of the inventory here. I kind of wish I'd loaded the whole thing up, but it's a pain in the neck to get all that stuff. Oh, push, 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 do it, do it, do it. Go, go, go. Oh man, there's something over there. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, is it possible we could make it to that? No, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so 1,500 would be 6,000 blocks. Okay, so fit to go 1,500, it would have needed 6,000 blocks. I don't think there was nearly that much. I cannot believe we didn't hit one of those stupid islands. Could we not? Could we have made that? Oh, that's it. That's it. It reached the end. It reached the end. Oh, is there a... Oh, is it possible I could recover it? I might be able to recover it. Okay, uh, how would I do that? Over the void. We got it. We got it. It didn't actually fall. I am so shocked. We recovered it. So it's so falling is not a thing that it could do. Oh my gosh, and it was headed towards something. That just ticks me off. Okay, well it didn't drop. Okay folks, we're back. As you can see, there's an in-city behind me. I'm actually sitting on a ship, which is awesome. We're, we were able to find some elytra wings, and if I go to our little ender chest here, you can see we've got the elytra. We've got lots of shulker shells. By the way, I'm running the double shulker shell drop um, mod, not mod pack, but uh, data pack. So with every shulker we kill, we get two shulker shells, which is pretty cool because um, at least as of now, I don't. I think it changed in 117, but in 116, shulkers are a more or less finite resource. They don't. However many are in a city, that's it. You can't. They don't spawn anymore. So I think that is an acceptable thing to have to have each one drop two shells. Also, and here's the shulker's head. Um, 
We've got the elytra. I put the minecart contraption in here as well. We've got a bunch of extra shulker boxes. So we've got to start. This really <clears throat> is part of the bigger picture of what we're trying to do here. Um, I wanted to come to the end to get shulkers because we've got big projects in mind and we're going to need lots of materials. Uh, for example, we've got one power plant built, but I want to build one that's centered around fire and another one that's centered around wind. And I think the next one might be wind, so we can build farms out in the desert that's going to help us with uh, villager trading and villager breeding and whatnot. And, and then once we get that set up, then we can, uh, we can start getting some good materials and we can build our big factory and our mega base. I know everybody's talking mega bases, but yeah, we can build our base because I envision a pretty good sized mansion with a massive sorting system using the create mod. I can't wait to do that. That's going to be cool. But I'm sorry this episode didn't quite go as planned. We kind of got effed by the immersive portals mod if you can believe that i think unless there's been a change to minecraft it's been a long time since i played without the immersive portals mod where when you appear on the end island that you appear in the middle of the island that's new usually you appear on an obsidian platform off to the side so i don't know what to make of it this must be something new it's either something new or it's brought on by immersive portals whatever we were put right in the middle of a dragon fight <clears throat> and we really didn't have much choice but to uh to kill the dragon so we went ahead and did that and that sort of defeats the purpose i really was looking forward to just building the bridging machine and kind of waving at the dragon like so long sucker as we uh as we bridge away from the center island but that didn't happen but hey, we got it. We, we killed the dragon and we've got another way back home. We don't have to kill ourselves. So that's pretty cool. But what I'm thinking is next time, I think maybe we start thinking about a mob farm because now that we've got the elytra wings, I think we need to look at uh, rockets. We need to be, look at making some rockets, which I don't have anything like that. The elytra, I just freaking put it away and I'm going to walk back to the uh, to the portal. Oh, by the way, so I noticed something. Now, in order to find this end city, I used Chunk Base. I told you I was going to, and I did. But I didn't realize now Chunk Base is updated now so that it now annotates which cities have ships and which don't. That I think that's a new thing. They didn't used to do that. It has, like, black dots as the cities with ships and then gray dots with cities without ships. So it's kind of cool. It can pick and choose. If all you're looking for is shulkers, then you can go to a city without a ship. But if you want elytra... There you can find, you can easily pick out which cities have ships. Now, of course, Chunk Base is kind of based on chances. It's it's not 100% that a city will be there, but its odds are usually pretty good. I think it's above 80 to 90%. So, But anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, I know, realize it's probably a somewhat short episode, even though I've got hours of footage recorded. Um, I'm going to have to edit it down to probably under... A half hour I think if you've made it this far go ahead and check the description of the video and you should see a link to the discord in there and you know that's for our dedicated group which is remaining rather small which tells me not a lot of people are watching it to the end but if you have check it out it's there love to see you there join the discussion and anyway hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one ciao